doesn't this look click baby as fuck I thought so too and that's why we are going to do it. Someone posted this on my subreddit. Don't forget to check out my subreddit. We are going to post weekly math challenges there and stuff like this. Also take a look at my new website stuff like this and yeah someone posted it and I'm going to pretend that it's really hard to evaluate. Really, 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 really. Yeah let's let's just dive right in. So you see the first thing you might observe is that we are going to multiply infinitely many things in this logarithm right here. And the cool thing about logarithms is that we can turn the multiplication of argument parts into the infinite summation of logarithms with those arguments in there. So a logarithm of 2 times 3 is nothing but a logarithm of 2 plus the logarithm of 3. Doesn't matter which base. So let's bring this infinite multiplication to the outside to turn this into an infinite summation. That's nothing but 1 minus the integral running from 2 to infinity of, well, infinite sum running from 1 to infinity of the natural log of the n to the x root. I don't even know how to pronounce this. n to the x root of 1 over n. Integrated with respect to x. Don't forget your differentials. It really depends on your um, convention. But I really like writing out those differentials. Okay, without any restrictions, we are going to interchange those rights here. Be because this is a limit and this is a limit. And under certain conditions, we can actually interchange limits. Those certain conditions hold right here. You can probably make use of dominated convergence theorem or just Papa Fubini or whatever they were called, Tonelli. So <laughs> why not take this infinite summation to the outside? running from 1 to infinity, integral from 2 to infinity of. Now we can make use of natural log properties. So the n to the x root is nothing but 1 over n to the 1 over n to the x power. So let's bring this to the outside. And then natural log of 1 over n, integrated with respect to x. One last thing I would like to do is to drag this exponent to the outside. This is just a 1 and 1 to any power is just 1. It really doesn't quite matter. Now we can turn this around a little bit. So you see if we have a number a, we can express the number a as e to the ln of a. Okay, so this is 1 minus this infinite summation. I'm going to leave the indices away, doesn't matter. Integral from 2 to infinity of, and now we have e to the ln 1 over n to the x power, okay, um, the x power completely to the outside. And the cool thing is about logarithm is that we can take powers to the outside. So let's bring the power to the outside, okay, times the natural log of 1 over n integrated with respect to x. And here's the really nice part. Okay, so we have ln of 1 over n times x and we have ln of 1 over n, 1 over n times dx. Meaning we can introduce a certain substitution, so let t be equal to the natural log of 1 over n times x. If we differentiate that, that also means that dt is nothing but the natural log of 1 over n times dx. I really don't care about the upper and lower bounds at the moment. Let's just plug those new values in. So this is nothing but 1 minus the infinite summation from 1 to infinity of, okay, now we have some up and low bounds, I really don't care. e to the, okay, this is e to the t now. And well, this chunk right here is nothing but dt. So that worked out quite nicely. So integrating this is really quite easy. This is nothing but 1 minus infinite summation of e to the t, because integral of e to the t is just et. <laughs> et, <laughs> what an alien. But what is t? t is nothing but natural log of 1 over n times x. From, okay, now we can plug our original up and lower bounds in from 2 to infinity. I thought someone is going to come in, that's why I look this way, I'm terribly sorry. Okay, what are we going to get? So this is from 1 to infinity. Don't forget, e to the natural log of 1 over n times x is nothing but our original 1 over n to the x power. Okay, so this is 1 minus infinite summation of 1 over n to the x power. From 2 to infinity. Coolio. And you see if you are well versed 
when it comes to mathematics, you might notice that this right here is nothing but the Riemann's data function. But we are not going to write it. With respect to the Riemann's data function, we are just going to calculate the stuff right here. So now we have one minus the limit s. Okay, now we have um, x approaches infinity of the infinite summation from one to infinity of, okay, now we have one over n to the x power. Negative and negative is going to, to become positive right here. So you see, then we have plus the infinite summation from n equals to one to infinity of one over n squared. We have calculated this before. This is nothing but the basic problem. So this is pi squared over six. And what is this right here? Well, let's write this out a little bit. So for this part, we are going to get the limit as x approaches infinity of, okay, our first part is one over n. Um, one over one to the x power. Okay, then next we get one over two to the x power. So plus one over two to the x power plus dot dot dot. Let's bring the x to the outside respectively, just like before. Okay. What are we going to get? So limit as x approaches infinity of one over two to the x power. Okay. If x approaches infinity, this is going to be one over infinity. It's going to zero. This is zero. Then on next part, this is going to zero. Okay? And on next part, on next part, etc. So all those terms are going to zero. But what are we going to get here? So we are going to end up with the limit as x approaches infinity. One over one is nothing but one to the x power. Just like I said, one to the something power doesn't matter. It's just going to give us one. So this is the limit as x approaches infinity of just one. And the limit of a constant is just the constant itself. So this is one. In the end, we are going to get one minus one plus pi squared over six. One and one is going to cancel out to just pi squared over six. And then we are done, QED whatsoever. Please tell me in the comments which theorem to use right here to interchange those um, limits. <laughs> <sighs> If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to my comment channel. If you like, you know what else you can do. You can support the channel in many different ways. And well, up until the next video, have a flamble day, I guess. Love you guys. Appreciate you. Ciao. Ich wünschte, ich würde es sehen. Ja, ja, ich such. Und besser. Ah, was ist das schnell? <lacht>